Hello, and welcome to today's lesson about two rules for finding equivalent fractions. First, we are going to go over our one vocabulary term for today. Equivalent fractions. These are fractions with different denominators that name the same number. For example, 1 half is the same thing as 6 twelfths. These numbers are the same size, although they have different numerators and denominators in this case. We will look more at this later on in today's video. Now let's talk about one strategy for finding equivalent fractions. Here is a model for two thirds. The whole consists of three parts in the rectangle, and two of those parts are shaded. Now I'm going to draw a horizontal line that divides each part of the rectangle into two parts. It will look like this. Now the whole consists of six parts in the rectangle and four are shaded. Here's the question you need to think about. Has the shaded amount of the recti rectangle changed? It hasn't. Because exactly the same amount of the rectangle is shaded, the fraction two-thirds and four-sixths are equivalent. So four-sixths equals two-thirds. Now I'm going to further divide up this rectangle by adding in two more lines. By adding two more lines, I have created a new denominator. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. My new denominator is going to be twelfths. How much of this is shaded? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. My new fraction is 8 twelfths and it is equal to both 4 sixths and 2 thirds because they are all the same size. Let's look at one more example of how to split a fraction stick to create equivalent fractions. Here is a fraction stick representing 1 fourth. If I split this stick using two more lines like this, I am going to find an equivalent fraction. But how many pieces do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So my new denominator is going to be 12. How many of those twelfths are shaded in? When I count, I see 3. So 1 fourth and 3 twelfths are equivalent fractions. Now let's discuss the multiplication rule for finding equivalent fractions. Let's start out by looking at the fraction 1 third. The multiplication rule says that to find an equivalent fraction, I have to multiply both the numerator and the denominator of the fraction by the same number. So let's start out relatively easy and multiply the top and the bottom by 2. One times two is two, and three times two is six, making two sixths an equivalent fraction for one third. Let's list another equivalent fraction by multiplying the top and the bottom by three. Three times one is three, and three times three is nine, making three ninths in another equivalent fraction for both one third and two sixths. Let's find one more equivalent fraction for one third. This time I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by four. 4 times 1 is 4, and 3 times 4 is 12, making 4 twelfths an equivalent fraction for 1 third. You do not always have to go in numerical order the way I did, where I multiplied times 2, and then times 3, and then times 4. You can multiply the numerator and the denominator by any number you would like. It's completely up to you. I just went with 2, 3, and 4 because they were the simplest ones for me to do. Now let's talk about the division rule for finding equivalent fractions. Sometimes you will be given a fraction that is not a unit fraction, meaning it won't be 1 over 4 or 1 over 12. Basically, it won't have a 1 for the numerator. Let's look at the fraction 16 twentieths. There are a couple of different factors that these two numbers have in common. In this case, I am going to use the number 4. 
The division rule states that in order to find an equivalent fraction, you divide the numerator and the denominator of the fraction by the same number. Here's how this will work. Since I know that both 16 and 20 are evenly divisible by 4, I am going to divide the top and the bottom by 4. Remember, you always have to do the same thing to the top that you do to the bottom and vice versa. You can never divide the top and the bottom or multiply the top and the bottom by different numbers. 16 divided by 4 is equal to 4, and 20 divided by 4 is equal to 5. So an equivalent fraction for 16 20ths is 4 fifths. Now let's consider the fraction 12 fifteenths. What is a number that goes evenly into both of these numbers? Since 15 is not an even number, we know that it can't be 2, but 3 does go evenly into both of these numbers. 12 divided by 3 is 4, and 15 divided by 3 is 5, so an equivalent fraction for 12 fifteenths is 4 fifths. Let's look at one more example. 8 tenths. These numbers are both evenly divisible by 2, but they have no other larger factors in common. So we are going to divide the top and the bottom by 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4, and 10 divided by 2 is 5, so an equivalent fraction for 8 tenths is 4 fifths. Here is your practice problem of the day. List three equivalent fractions for 1 seventh using the multiplication rule. List one equivalent fraction for 15 twentieths using the division rule. Good luck!